Hello everybody, this is Streaming Gamer back for part 2 of the last 32 round. And part 1 was certainly a cracker, and well this one's probably going to be the best part of this last 32 round. And we shall quickly go through the battles in this session. So, up first it is going to be Dino Hunter going up against Maastrician. Then we will have Ultimate Dino King taking a crack at Dexin, Dino Smash going up against Arctic Warriors, and to conclude this session it will be Drogon Targaryen III versus LP Gozzi. Yes, we are covering the stat side of the draw, ladies and gentlemen. And honestly, whoever emerges out of this as the last man standing really does deserve to win this tournament. And in all honesty, I feel like the winner is more than likely going to come from this bracket. But we'll see what happens. Right, on to our first match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Dino Hunter, we got Spiny. And this is a very good field for Dino Hunter. They'll get terrain advantage in this match, and they're probably gonna need it if they're gonna pull off this upset against Maastricia. What's interesting, I think, looking at all the matches, this, this one and probably Dino Smash against Arctic Warriors are the two where I feel like we do have strong favourites. Right, in the blue corner for the champ, Maastrician, we got Omega Eel Karkiria. Maastrician been in strong form in this tournament, and well, let's be honest, they've been absolutely brutal since joining my tournaments. I will say, since joining my tournaments at the start of last year, they've only lost twice. And I don't count the Champions Tournament, because that was something else. <laughs> so that's the task at hand for Dino Hunter. Oh, here we go. It's a good start. But upsets are there to be happened. That didn't make sense. Ooh, a softening beam. This is a good start from Dino Hunter, and they need it. Oh, here comes the first shot of the match from Maastrician. Here comes the light recovery, the tacky jar die. These two did meet last year. Maastrician won quite comfortably. The Brontokins caused him all sorts of problems. And, well, just like that, Maastrician in front. And they'll be extending that lead. Another tacky jar die. Douche. Armored dinosaurs caused Dino Hunter all sorts of problems last year. And there's another hit, and that's Spiny going down. Well, just like that. A promising start, eviscerated by the Eocarcaria. Right, coming in next for Dino Hunter, we got a Sign Raptor. Well, the saving grace is that it won't have tight disadvantage because the Eel Carcaria doesn't have any fire moves, but it does have the tag team, which is in effect. So Maastrician opening up a pretty good lead here. Okay, there's a hit, but the tag team's gonna come in, nullify that hit. Wow, wait, wait, he gets a light recovery as well? Dude, that's kind of broken. And look at this, this light recovery. Eocarcaria is going to be almost at full power. That's kind of mean. Okay, that's a tie. But again, the, Eo, the Omega Eo, the Omega armor is going to cut. It's going to come. It's, it, it is going to come soon. Dino Hunter after a good start just can't get a hit but here's a crit. This could be exactly what they need. This is a good shot from Dino Hunter. They needed this crit. But one hit from the Eel Carp. And it is Omega Armor time. Now the, the tag team is gone as is the light recovery. But that's another hit from Dino Hunter. This is better. 
Now, will this be lethal damage? It will be lethal. But, coming in next for Maastrician, we got the Spinosaurus. It's a Blitz type Spinosaurus, so it will go for those two crits. And if it gets one of them off, then I suspect that'll be all she wrote for Sinraptor. And then Pachycephalosaurus will have to come in. And if it does come in, it will get the next hit because of the terrain advantage it does have. Right, so go for that crit. Oh, there's a crit! That's going to be Curtis for Sinraptor. Maastrician, unfazed by losing the Eul Carcaria. Finishes off the Sign Raptor and extends his lead. Tech boost coming in as well. That's going to help get more Aqua Javelins going. Right, coming in third for Dino Hunter. We got Pachycephalosaurus. It's got terrain advantage. It's going to get the next hit. Which will be a paper hit. And then I'll go for the second Blitz crit off the Spino after the terrain advantage. It's going to be a paper hit. And we'll be very. It'd be very nice if that uh, secret move was triggered, but I don't think it will be. No, I didn't think it would be. But a defense boost is gonna help out. Right, now for crit number two. Oh, no crit that time. Relief for Dino Hunter. No tight. Okay, there's a hit. Dino and is clawing back into this. Defense boost maxed up. That's definitely going to help his cause. And that will be Curtain for Spino. And all of a sudden... Ah, that champ in a... I wouldn't say in a bit of big trouble, but uh, Dino and really coming back into this match. And we are pretty much level packet. Right, coming in food for Master Issue, we've got Tarkia. Haven't seen much of this guy, to be honest, but it's going to have to perform here if Master Issue wants this victory. Hmm. This, this, is go this could go down to the wire. Oh, <laughs> what is he all about? Okay, one. Ooh, and that puts Dino Hunter in the lead. And they'll be extending that lead. Ooh, but Maastrician closing that bleed down with a crept and Anyangira dive. Wow, this is really going down to the wire. Ooh, that's another hit. Master Issue getting hits again. This is so tense. But that hit does leave Master Issue on the brink of the victory. One hit will do it. And that hit will do it. Master Issue gets the win. And well, it was closer than I thought it would be, but... Maastrician gets the win and goes through to the last 16 round at the expense of Dino Hunter, who really did put up a good fight, but unfortunately just, just ran out of energy in the end, and Maastrician gets it done. Well, that was a good match, wasn't it? Right, on to our next matchup now. Okie dokie, in the right corner, for Ultima Dino King, we have got an Ineosaurus. Okay, this is a good field for Dex, and they will get terrain advantage. They'll get the first hit in this match, which will be a rock hit. But this Ineosaurus is not to be trifled with the can opening bull. The tie specialist. The hard hit up. Anyway, in the blue corner for Dex, and we got Uteraptor. Dexin also enjoying a good tournament so far, finishing third in Group A. I mean, they had an outside chance to win Group A, but let's be honest, they were never going to win 3 0 against Black Beauty, were they? <laughs> Actually, really looking forward to this match. I'm hoping that the random number generator 
behaves itself and gives us a good contest. Because I feel like this should be a good contest. But first things first, let's get the uh, terrain hit out of the way. That was actually a big hit. Good shot from Dexit. Oh, and here comes another one, a ninja attack. You trapped are coming flying out the blocks at the minute. And this should be a good hit because it stops the Ainiosaurus from getting off plasma anchors and using its uh, big weapon. Oh, I'm not going to stop it getting a crit though. And this thing hits like a bull. I suspect the Utahraptor will be lose half his health, and it does. Massive hit from Ainiosaurus. Ooh, but the Utahraptor responds with a hit of his own. A ninja attack coming in. That's going to down the Ainiosaurus and give Dex in the lead. Well, it's three hits to one in Dexin's favour so far, but Ultimate definitely got the biggest hit in the match with that crit. Right, coming in next for the Dino King, we've got a Sacred Source. Now the... Now the, uh, the trick with this thing is to get ties. Ties do power up its moves and enable it to hit harder. But... Oh, no, God, it's Utahraptor to deal with at the minute. Okay, there's a tie. That's exactly what the Satyosaurus wants. But it now needs the hit. Oh, but doesn't get it. Instead, the Utahraptor does. Okay, got that hit though, and that's gonna be, well, it should be curtains for Utahraptor, and it is. Right, coming in next for Dexit, we have got the Spinosaurus. The most common dinosaur in this tournament. And I think everyone that had one, well, pretty much, pretty much everyone that had one managed to get out the group stage. I think there was a few that didn't. I know Cayman Rider was one. They had a Spino and they didn't get out. Okay, the Futaba Cannon did get triggered. Okay, but Sikiosaurus does get the next hit. A Shockwave would be very convenient here. But they don't get it. Ooh, that's a tie. Dancing with danger, they're going for that crit. Leaves the Sikiosaurus open to the Hydro Cutter. And there it is. It was a risk going for the crit, and it hasn't paid off, and instead it is Dex in getting the big crit. And take and extending their lead in this match. Right then, coming in food for Ultima Dino King, we've got Maya Sora. Are they gonna fall at the last 32 hurdle again? Last year, Ultima Dino King suffered a shock loss to Iron Dam. I mean this one wouldn't be as big as a, of a shock, but kind of be a surprise. Like I said, this bracket is so stacked that any of the eight guys could go could go all the way. It is so stacked. Okay, there's a hit that's gonna get the attack boost going. Needs to kill this Spino as quick as possible without taking too much damage. Sorofagonax comes in next. Oh, that's well, Dexin doing a good job stopping those crits. He's done a very good job. There's only the one crit at the beginning with the Ainiosaurus, but so far he's done a very good job at stopping Ultima from getting crits. And getting crits of his own! And this is going to be a massive hit. That's going to stop Emerald Garden as well. Oh, I freaking killed it! Where did that come from? Massive hit from the Spino, and Ultima Dino King falls at the last 32 hurdle again. And it is Dexing going through to play Maastrician in the last 16 round. Seriously, where did that freaking come from? <laughs> right, on to our next matchup now. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Dino Smash, we've got Taurosaurus, and well, already Dino Smash is going to get terrain advantage, they're going to get the first hit. 
Okay, it's only going to be a paper head. Not too bad for Arctic Warriors, that. Although it will activate the attack burst and it could activate the electric charge, which will strengthen the power of that crit. But as long as you don't get hit by that crit, it doesn't matter. Anyway, in the blue corner for Arctic Warriors, we've got Kentrosaurus. Now, it does have type advantage over that Taurosaurus, and it does have all Earth moves, so if they can get past it pretty quickly, I think they got a good chance here. But obviously, first things first, we got to deal with the elephant in the room. Okay, no electric charge though, but the attack burst did activate, which is going to massively increase the power of that crit. Ooh, and he went for it as well, but uh, but the Kent Resorts are having none of it. And an Earth Barrier, that could be a big Earth Barrier. Good response from Arctic Warriors. The tie, that triggers the Quake Saber. Okay, it's another tie. As a third tie. Nothing to separate these two. Okay, there's a hit, but that's going to remove the Earth Barrier. Very little damage is going to be dealt because of the type advantage and disadvantage as well. But that is an electric charge coming in. Now that Taurosaurus is stacked in attack power. But can Dino Smash utilize it? Well, it doesn't look like they're going to. This hit might be lethal, and it is. Arctic Warriors taking the lead. But coming in next for Dino Smash, we have got probably the ace of their team, the Omega Eel Carcaria, with all the boost moves, because why the hell not? <laughs> it's such a based moveset, honestly. Okay, that's a four. Okay, that's a two. This is good from Arctic Warriors. Getting hits on the board. And that was actually a pretty good hit. Okay, that's a tie. Dino Smash struggling to get him. Land a real shot in this match. Okay, until now. And that's going to trigger the tech attack and defense boost as well. So this Eokaki is going to be even harder to take down. But, at least, it did take some damage. So it's not too bad for Arctic Warriors, and they do keep the lead. Right, coming in next for Arctic Warriors, we've got Mega Raptor. What they don't want is to let that Eocarcaria get another shot off. Because if it does, it will be maxed up, offensively and defensively. So it'll be very hard to damage. But this Mega Raptor does hit really hard. I have to say, well, given the first match of, you know, Taurosaurus, Kendrosaurus, isn't, I'm not too surprised that Arctic Warriors has an early lead. Well, I should correct that to had the early lead, because Dino Smash is about to take the lead. Oh, maybe not. Well, in terms of health, he's losing, but uh, in terms of momentum, he's probably on top. Especially now that all those moves have been buffed up. Okay, there's a hit, but it's not going to do much damage, unfortunately, for Arctic Warriors. But it does retain their lead. Okay, yeah, they'll probably need another two hits to down this Eocarcaria. Oh, there's a hit. And yeah, look at that, Dino Smash taking the lead in health now. But the Mega Raptor responded with another bite in wind. This won't be lethal, but it'll put the eel cart on the brink. And I have to say, it's been a good contest so far. Oh, but it is Dino Smash taking the lead. Right, coming in food for Arctic Warriors, we got Sukumimus. Well, all they need is one hit and that Eocarcaria is gone. And then it's just Euoplus Ephemus to worry about. 
but you have to say, the underdog is doing well in this match. Oh, but Dino Smash getting the big hits going now. And well, we might see Omega Armor if the Eel Kakiria survives here. And it does! Well, Dino Smash could win this right now. Well, here we go, it's all on this now. Arctic Warriors needs the next hit, or they are going out. Oh, they do! That could be a huge hit for Arctic Warriors. That will finish off Eel Kakiria. But did the Sukumimas take too much damage? A tail smash from this Uopacephalus will end this match. And well, coming in third, I've already given it away, it's Uopacephalus. Well, Arctic Warriors have survived up to now. They have saved themselves from going out to an Omega Phoenix. Just got this Uopacephalus to deal with. Now the saving grace, the Neptune Stream, does go through Earth Barrier. We have seen that before. Oh, but Dino Smash gets the next hit and Elemental Power as well. That's going to complicate things. And that's it. They're on the brink of the win. The Oof Barrier to tighten the screw. Losing that Eokok area has not phased Dino Smash one bit. And that'll do it. That's all she wrote for Arctic Warriors in this tournament. And they go out at the last 32 round and Dino Smash goes through. Albeit not as convincing as I thought it would be, but they do get the job done in the end. Right then, on to our final match of this session to find out Dino Smash's next opponent. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Drogon Targaryen III, we've got Gygas. Okay, this is an interesting field, both our dudes get terrain advantage, Gozzi with the Super Fairy and Drogon with the Eoraptor. I think this is going to be a very close match, and all of Drogon's matches have been very good. Right, in the blue corner, for El Gozzi, we have got Terry. I think it's safe to say Gozzi's had a very mixed tournament. They had a good, strong tournament. I mean, it's finished on 17 points. Level with the guy, level with the top guys in the GH, so. They had a strong tournament again, but. Uh, they have had to ride their luck in a couple of matches, I will say that. But yeah, this is going to be a cracker. I just got a feel. Ooh, and it's Gozzi getting the first big shot of the match. It's a crimson flame. This is going to be a big hit. Defense boost to come as well. Oh no! Cookies! Massive hit from Gauzy, the defense boost activate them as well. Well, what's the response from Drogon? Oh, there isn't gonna be one because that's another Crimson Flame and that'll put Gauzy 1-0 up. Provided I don't mess it up. And I don't. And well, just like that, Geiger's bites the dust. Right, coming in next for Drogon, we have got Eoraptor. It's going to get the next hit. Eoraptor is going to be a scissors hit, I believe. Oh, it's turned into Mega Raptor, which is actually really good for Drogon because that will give him a chance to hit with some Sonic Blasts, which I do think he needs because it's been a very strong start from Gozzi so far. Defense boost, he'll need to get some defense boost going as well. Well, I felt at the start this was a gamble to put Eoraptor in this team, but you have to say, probably overall, has paid off. 
and it has worked for him. And it's going to have to perform again here because Gossi does have a good lead and look at that. Terry maxed up defensively as well. It's going to be very hard to hit and it's got the death fire. So do bear that in mind. Okay, this is good from Drogon though. Maxing up that defense boost. That's really going to help. Unless Gossi gets a Crimson Flame or a Death Fire though, so Gossi kind of built to counter it, to be honest. Okay, there is a hit though. But yeah, look at that. Very little damage done. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's another Crimson Flame. And unfortunately, defense boost is not going to save you after a major beating. Oh no! A Drogon really in trouble now. They went out at the last 32 round last year to Dino Hunt. Oh, look, he freaking killed it! Jeez! Well, Terry's kind of sucked in this tournament for Gauzy, but. It's really performing here, isn't it? <laughs> right, coming in third for Drogon, we got Spinosaurus. He's got type advantage, he's gonna need it, yeah. Well, if there's any dino you want to pull you back from the brink, it's this one. And maybe we'll see the reason why everyone has Spinosaurus in their team. Okay, that's a tie, could have fucking done with that with a bloody Yoraptor. Oh, there's another hit! And this thing's still got death fire as well, so this could be a 3-0 for Gozzi. Okay, there's a hit. The vet technique boost coming in as well. Gonna need to get some aqua javelins going, yeah? Okay, no death fire was triggered. That's good for Drogon. And there's an aqua javelin. They needed this. And that actually will all but end any hopes of Gauzy getting a death fire off in this match. Ah, there we go. There's a hit. That could be curtains for Terry. And it is. And the technique boost maxing up. Drogon's finally starting to get some hits in this match. But is it too little too late? Right, coming in next for Elty Gauzy, we've got Super Slatosaurus, Awaken Hold on 4. And remember, Gauzy gets terrain advantage with the Super Fairy as well that comes in third, so Drogon really needs to take out this little ratty thing quick if he wants to come back into this contest. Oh, that's a Hydro Cutter, but the Dino Stuffer's going to stop it. Drogon really needed that crit there, but Dino Stuffer's going to put a stop to it. Right, that's one. Oh, and he gets the hit. Drogon really turning momentum in this match. Another Aqua Javelin. This is really good from Drogon. All of a sudden. Okay, that was twice. Oh, but that's a crit. A recovery as well. And an attack boost to come. Oh, and actually... That might put the Spinal in lethal range of the Fairy. Right, that's three times. Was that last chance saloon for Drogon? Oh, that's going to do it. That crit's going to do it. And LP Gauzy goes through to the last 16 round to face Dino Smash at the expense of Drogon Targaryen III, who yet again bows out at the last 32 round. That was a fun round, wasn't it? Right, so uh, brackets, we can end the session. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The heavy hitting brackets certainly delivering in this session. Master Shun getting past Dino Hunter, Dexin knocking out Ultimate Dino King, Dino Smash smashing Arctic Warriors, and Gauzy getting past Droga. So, in our last 16 bout, we will see Master Shun taking on Dexin, that's going to be fun. And Dino Smash going up against LP Gauzy. But yeah, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoy and stay tuned for part three. But until then, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.